So let's say I want to design a layout from Illustrator and then import it inside of Prezi. That is possible because Illustrator uses vector graphics and vector graphics is can be zoomed at an infinite level. And you have an option to import that into your Prezi uh, software. So I'm just going to create new file over here in Illustrator. And if you do not know how to Illustrator, please do check out my tutorial on Illustrator itself where we are uh, learn the basics of how to use the, uh, the shapes to create different type of graphics in Illustrator. In my case, I'm going to select web right here and you can see that there are a lot of options right here. So I'm going to go for a smaller option uh, like 640 by 480 because smaller files has less dimensions and then it'll be easier for to process. But anyways, since we'll be using vector graphics, it won't matter. So in my case, I'm going to create a simple layout with a bunch of lines just like this which follows a pattern so i'm just going to go over here just like this all right there you go so i'm going to press enter and there you go you have a line right there that you can work with so i'm just going to uh arrange the workspace a bit so that i can see all of the things that i want so i'm going to reset the essential space right here all right so uh, windows extension workspace I'm going to go into Essential Classic so that I see the top bar over here. So I'm going to increase the size of this and change the type of the uh, line right here. I'll choose this type of a line just like that and increase this out. So this is the graphics that I want. All right, there you go. And once you do that, what I want is I want simple shapes like, let's say, for example, I want a rounded rectangular. That's something um, not common with Prezi. All right, there you go. That's a rounded rectangular shape right there. I can resize it, rename it, up to you. So I'm just going to disable the fill right here. So I'm gonna choose something else over here, some other color over here. So I'm gonna go over here like this, choose this color. And I'm going to choose this design right here. That's not uh, something that you don't see in Illustrator. So I'm gonna cre create something else. I'm gonna take it over here, just change the size just like this you can see that i'm gonna make it like a branch right here i'm gonna go over here move it around just like this there you go there you have it and you'll see control v and move it around as well so you can design any way you want so let's say this is the graphics that i want to import inside of my prezi so in order to do that i'm gonna go over into file save as and i'm going to save it as a PDF file because that is what it, uh, Prezi accepts. So I'm going to say layout just like this and I'm gonna press save. So it'll ask me to save things just like this and now compatibility I can choose uh, if it is for other things but right now I don't have to do anything. I can just save it as a PDF in its default format. Doesn't matter. Uh, once you do that it gets saved and now I'm gonna go into my Prezi. So in my Prezi here, you can see that it's a blank window. I'm going to go into insert and I'm going to go into PDF right here. So you can see that that's the layout that I actually saved. So I'm going to press open and it'll load it out. So you can see that it is loading. So when it will fully load, uh, it'll be a vector graphics. So as you can see, it is fully loaded and now I can resize this the way I want. So you can see that no matter how much I zoom in, it does not actually matter because that that is a PDF file and it is a vector graphics right here. You can see that every detail is actually saved just like that. So now just to make things interesting, I'm going to add in a background as well. I'm going to use a free image just like this and then uh, the image will be loaded in the background. So similar to that, now I can add an animation so that uh, the zoom, zoom in levels can be done. No, oh, in Illustrator, I think I forgot to actually remove the background over here because of which you are seeing this effect. So let me just correct that quickly. So over here, you can see that I have fill enabled. So let me just disable the fill so that you do not have anything. So let me just do a check right here so that we have to make sure that there's nothing over there. Now I'm just going to send this backwards or send it send backward over here and you can see that there's no more lines over there because I disabled it. So that's okay. And now I'm going to save it as a PDF again. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it as a layout 
save it I'm gonna replace it just like that and just press save PDF so over here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this out select the graphic out let's close the background theme over here I'm going to reload it so I'm going to delete this out right here just select uh, select it and you can see that I can select this and delete this I'm gonna go into insert PDF and then select this again so it imports and it, you can see that now it is transparent and I can resize this just like this uh, right now it uh, seems pixelated but once it loads it becomes a vector graphics as you can see right here so now what I can do is you can see that once I zoom in uh, there's everything so you can zoom in to the level you want everything is transparent so you can add in animations as well so I'm gonna add in zoom in animations over here so let's say I'm gonna go over here add in zoom in area let's drag this around and I'm going to focus on this area right here just like this so that's gonna be the first zoom in area my first slide I'm gonna add in another zoom in zoom in just like this and then over here control Z because I did a mistake over there zoom into area let's remove this because I don't know where the zoom is to so add a zoom area just like this let's resize this and then rotate this control alt and rotate just like this all right there you go add in another zoom area zoom into all right so I guess it didn't I didn't remove animation just click anywhere out add zoom area and then rotate this out For example I'm gonna rotate it out just like this and then resize it all right now the zoom area there you go click outside press the animation add zoom area rotate it resize it and then keep it over here there you go so now let us start presenting it so I'm gonna go into present and you can see that if I were to press right it zooms in right there right it zooms in there right it rotates around just like that and zoom right zooms out like that so you got a plain animation just like this uh, as you can see right here the zoom area is all there you can zoom out you can do anything you want just like that so I'm gonna go over here and the presentation and if you want to actually edit it you can actually double click over here and you can start adding content so you can go over here insert text just like this and you can start editing just like that and add in some animations you can just go back and there you go as you can see that the animation all works so fine and then you can work with your custom layout just like that so that is how you can make custom layouts using illustrator and use it in prezi hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe